hey guys welcome back so guys as we are continuing our login and registration system with email verification in php so guys now as we saw in previous video that we have successfully registered and sent a verification email on your email address so guys now when we click over here you need to verify the email okay so let's begin with that guys so let's click on this and you will find a link over here right which we saw in previous video so email verify email.php file so let's move to this file verify email.php so this is the file and let's start the code to verify it so first open php and close php and check with the if condition if it is there means come inside else you need to log out to login page so let's use session to show the message using status variable i mean session variable as status and tell not allowed to this page where we'll set this location login.php we will redirect so what you're going to check over here so with a set function you are going to get the token dollar c t o k n token so this this variable you will be able to find in your url so it's over here so once you click this link that time this token will be available so if it's there only you have to come inside else it will redirect your login page and tell not allowed directly so guys now let's begin with that so first if you're using session make sure you are going to start your session session start function and now let's type the code so first let's create a variable called token is equal to dollar underscore get method where you are going to call this url token so let's copy that and paste inside this and now let's see that what is the token you are getting from here so this token value you need to fetch and check from your database which we have stored over here okay so verify token over here what we have stored it let me just show you so this is the token which we have inserted while registering the page so now let's check that token of this url which from got from mail address let's get back so first let's write um verify query is equal to your query select which column you are going to select we are not going to select everything we need only verify token so let's copy this verify token column from table name so my table name is users let's copy that users and give where condition where your column name again so column name is verify token so let's copy paste is equal to inside single quotes you are going to paste that token <coughs> excuse me so token and then we are going to give limit limit oops give limit so l i m i t limit which will be one that's it now let's execute this above statement or the query let's give verify query underscore run is equal to with the help of my sql query function so inside this you are going to pass the database connection and then your verification query done and now first we need to give the database connection so as we saw in previous video we have created this database connection over here so let's call this file inside this use include function and call the file so dbcon.php file and now database connection is got over here and let's give the if condition to check if it is success or not so let's use mysql i number of rows 
function greater than zero so if uh, any record exists inside this please come inside and do the process else else you have to show the message so what message you are going to show is that this token does not exists okay so if there is no token called this thing inside your db then it will come over here if there is a token then proceed with that so first step you need to check with that so let's create one dollar row variable is equal to with the mysqli fetch array okay i just wanted a single record so we can use this function and get that so let's take this variable and ask from here and let's check with this so first you need to check that status of it so what status you are going to check a verify status so we don't have a verify status column so we need to create that so before creating let's fetch this verification token over here let's get back let's tell echo dollar row so what you're going to echo that the verify token so let's copy this paste and let's echo this first get back refresh reload the page you can see that token has come over here from your db so now let's comment this and over here you need to give if condition if it is success if the token is verified or not we need to check so for that let's create one a column into your database to check that so first let me just give this condition to satisfy that let's copy this control x remove paste dollar verify which will be not token which will we are going to give status so verify status you need to check let's keep at zero so zero means which will be default it's not verified if it's verified means then you are going to show the message so let's copy this and paste over here and let's type exit of zero which will directly exit and the message over here will be email already verified please login done and if it's not verified then you have to move here so let's create with the verify status one column get back to your db let's move it after verified token you are going to add one column click go status let's tiny integer two value as defined zero default will be zero so let's give a comment over here one zero is equal to no you are not verified and one is equal to yes you are verified so we'll keep in this method let's get back structure you can see that zero means no not verified one means yes it's verified let's get back on this you can see current status is zero so let's get back let's close this and start code over here so guys now we need to set this over here so first let us set that so over here make sure you are setting because it will throw an error if you don't set because we are using fetching the record from this variable okay so we are checking the status also and the verify token also so let's copy this and check with the token so let's create one variable called clicked token so any unique name you need to create let me just move with this and add a token let's write a query where update query will give so what update query we are verification is done or not so for that we are going to write the query let's give update table name table name is users which we are going to set oops set your column fields so what column field you are going to set that is 
verify status so let's copy that verify status column is equal to inside single quotes we are going to give one and this will be your which we are going to update to one once it is token is verified so click token so check that with the where condition where your token whatever the column field of your token is equal to inside single quotes let's take this click the token or your main token from your url so same token we are going to fetch with the we are going to set the limit 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 is equal to one and then let's execute this query so dollar update query underscore run is equal to with the help of mysqli underscore query function so first need to give the database connection and then your uh, update query save and now let's check with the if else condition to it is set as true or false so if this query is success then it will come over here else it will come over here and we will show the message over here as verification failed if it is success then you need to show the same way message that your account has been verified successfully that's it so now guys you are showing this status so make sure you are using session variable with the name status so make sure you have start and we are going to login page so we need to show this status right whatever the message you are getting with the session so let's go to login.php file and over here i have written a small code to show the message so let's save this and yep guys let's test it so let's move let's go to an email and let's click over here so right now you can see that it is zero let's get back mail click your account has been verified successfully let's see in our db browse over here you can see that status is equal to one so guys we have successfully done it cool so now let us test once again so wh in what in case you click once more let's click once again and you can see that email already verified please log in done so we have tested in both format so here the code is about it so guys in this video that's it and let's see in next video about how to check with the login and is it verified or not what are the process about it so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share